So moving forward, uh, we're going to go do a little bit. I talked a little bit about covering some uh, management or level management for being able to uh, keep things organized as we go along. So in my levels tab, uh, if you see now I've got one level and it has 15 entities. So it has everything that we've put on this part in one place. So I like to keep things a little organized. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here and create a new level. So I'm going to do level two. And I'm going to go ahead and just call this exactly what it is. Boundary box or bounding box, excuse me, for stock. And that's exactly what it is. I'll hit enter. And now it's created me a new level up here. And now I just need to get the entities off of level one down to level two. And I'm going to do that by using my quick mask function over on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, there's different things in here, point, lines, arcs, splines, everything. Uh, I want to use this one that's about the fifth one down. And it says select all wireframe entities. So if I left click there, you can see it picks all of the wireframe entities on my graphics window. As well as those two dots, and that's fine, those two points that I brought up. And I'm going to right click, and in the top of my selection bar, I'm going to come over to change levels. I'm going to left click on there. In my change levels, I do want to move these. And I'm going to say use active level, because level 2 is my active level for my bounding box for stock. I'll go ahead and green check. And you'll see that now I have 14 entities that have all been moved. So now I have the option to turn this on and off. I can turn on level two and get my stock back if I want it. And I can turn it off if I don't need it. So just a little, little management, a little organization for you.